Tony plays <laughs> with friends. All right, boys and girls, we're back to Binding of Isaac. Unfortunately, I still haven't figured out how to get my damn save data over, so, uh... He tried real hard. I did. <laughs> what do you guys want? You, you know, this round, people were... People were mentioning how me asking if I should grab shit was just redundant and stupid, so... <laughs> yeah. That was your idea. <laughs> it was! It was my fucking redundant, stupid idea. Huh. So what are we gonna do instead? Yeah. I don't know. Just, Nick, just do what I'm you just gonna would, run. Dude, yeah. I'm just gonna run and and run for my life. Who do you like being? Let's just hang out. Um... I like Isaac. Really? Why Isaac? Cause he's the hero! We. Okay, that's fair. Wait! Wait! Go back! Ah, ah, I wanted to read ah, a tutorial! Ah. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the tutorial. No, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding, don't do that. <laughs> don't even acknowledge I said that. <laughs> okay, Tomar. Yeah, what? What did you learn this week? I... Uh, man... <laughs> Really laying it on the hard-hitting questions. Am I supposed to? Tomar is a deer in the I, headlights. I learned that that India and Pakistan are about to go to war. Oh God! Did you see that video where it's like an Indian and a Pakistani man yelling at each other in the car, and they're just saying like, "Fucking shit, you bastard, fuck!" <laughs> Wasn't that just you doing an impression no, of that one video? No, that's what's so fucked up about it. It, it sounds it, just it like the impression it, you I did. I swear to God, it's it's literally that in real life. What did that guy say to you guys? Like, uh, you fucking assholes. No, it was literally, he said, you motherfuck. You motherfuck. Yeah. You, you fucking shit. You fucking I'm shit. I'm fucking your sister. You fuck my sister. <laughs> Who's that? I was that? gonna say, I was on, like, Pakistani Twitter for a while last <laughs> night. Whoa. And it was, there was a lot of stuff like that. Now I'll they see it. Now we show. Now we show them. <laughs> Dude, my favorite Whoa. thing about, I, like, I, I, I'm not trying to sound all racist and shit, you know, God forbid, I come from a Chinese household, but when people try to say, like, American insults in their own language, and then, like, they get all, like, stuttery and shit, I feel like they just lose all sense of what the words actually mean. Yeah. Like, you fucking shit fuck! I fuck your shit! I don't get- I, You acid that shit and fuck! I don't really get why accents are racist to begin with, because they're yeah. just where you grow up, it yeah. has nothing to do with your race. That's it's true. That's pretty true. That's pretty true. I guess the idea is that, like, if you assume that everybody of an ethnicity is going to like have that. the stereotypical that's accent, that's just funny. That <laughs> <laughs> that's that's called good old fashioned uh, stereotyping. If you if you learned English in India, you're gonna sound like an Indian guy and not like a British or an American guy. It's true. It's like with Asians, like, my grandma used to actually sound exactly like that, like, Oh, hello, Mika! You know, whatever, but if you were to, if you were to ever do, like, Oh, and then my grandma said this, if yeah. you were to, like, do something like that, people would think you were fucking being a racist. But well, it's just fact! How come when I'm a little boy holding a lollipop, my mom's like, Never ever show them that you're upset when they make fun of you, but then when you grow up, you're- you, everyone gets more upset <laughs> when they make fun of each other. Is that- is that a common saying? <laughs> that, yeah, that's the most like famous- Like, Mama always said. When I'm, when I'm holding a lollipop, Mama always said. <laughs> what was the best advice you ever got from your parents? Uh, from my dad. Where, like, you look back and you're like, damn, that was good. He always said, grow a, a really long penis if you can. <laughs> <laughs> All <laughs> lots of water and it doesn't work, but it's push. good advice. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. Barring anything oh. else you could do, make sure to grow as long a penis <laughs> as if you, you can. can. If yeah. you can. Yeah. <laughs> Did you like the Marilyn Manson theme of the Resident Evil movie in 1996? The Resident Evil movie? Wait, no, that oh. was that was 2001 or 2000. Yeah, 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 that was the beautiful- No, 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 that was Sweet Dream- No, what was that song? It sounds like this, kind of, it's like- Oh, yeah! I like that song. Uh, Marlon Manson made it. I'm debating about- No, I'm not doing that. Uh, Marilyn Manson was one of those guys that I- Lasted a lot longer than I thought he would. Yeah. But- yeah. <laughs> he's talented. Yeah. And he's what, nice name, looking. Name your, name your top three Marilyn Manson songs. Uh, this is Halloween. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, you, you don't cover remember? of it. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. 
Was that at, like the end credits of, of no? The th- there was Christmas. like a there was like a, a like an album released where it was just covers of the songs done by different bands. Oh, I God. see. But he did this as Halloween. I was just fucking around. Did he really? Yeah. I never know when to believe you, Chris. No, that's real. <laughs> by the way, when I said he's nice looking, I don't know why that even came out of my mouth. <laughs> Was no that was reason. the first thing that came to mind. I know. I don't know why. <laughs> what are those hanging down? Do you just have like a sense for those? There's there's some place. I mean, I was gonna get this block anyway, but then there's sometimes one here or sometimes ah. one here. This is an eye. I think it does. Oh, it helps with whatever. But this is better for now. Oh, okay. Now oh. you can see where the little exit is. Yeah, but I, I don't. I'm fine. I just want poop power. This way, when you shoot poop, sometimes you you'll get something. Wow. Just like in real life. You ever play- <laughs> What? <laughs> you ever play a PS1 game called Loaded? Uh... What, what was it? What happened? Uh, it was like a top-down shooter and it had music that's similar to this as well. And it was really bloody. You'd shoot someone and bloated fly everywhere. Where- it was top-down- was it like Smash TV? Kinda. Yeah. Kinda. Kinda. Man, I miss Smash TV. I never played it and I always thought it had something to do with Smash Brothers. No, I- I played that a lot at- it was a place called Jack's Deli where my grandpa always took us in Philly and they had- Aww. They had a copy of it. And it's the twi- the- You controlled it with twin joysticks, too. My go-to arcade game is always Metal Slug 3. I don't care about any other games in the whole arcade. In the whole arcade! Except for Tetris! That's good, too. Did you hear they're- they're making a new Bushido Blade? Speaking of Neo Geo games? Bushido Blade? Yeah. No. Wasn't that just Samurai Showdown? Or that's what I meant, not Bushido Blade. No, it- it, it wasn't. But I was thinking of Samurai Showdown <laughs> and not Bushido Blade. I love how they're not the same game, but in my head, I figured out what you meant. <laughs> the Bushido Blade was like a PS1 game that was like- It was like realistic weapons, so like- if you just slash through a guy with a sword once, they just die pretty much. That's cool. And there were characters in Bushido Blade 2. Well, I'm thinking more of Bushido Blade 2. I never actually played Bushido Blade 1. But in Bushido Blade 2, there were characters that had guns. Literally, you could just like open the roundup and just be like, Psh! and the other guy would be dead. Wait, you could shoot guns or people shot guns at you? You could like there were characters that like their main weapon was a gun. Oh, oh, that's right. No, 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 I game. remember that. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, I remember this now. Do you guys like games like Devil May Cry <laughs> yeah. and Bayonetta? Um, I uh, I'm not a big Devil May Cry guy. I me neither. Yeah, I don't know what it is about those games. It just feels like I don't know. It it gets really hack and slashy. Yeah. I know there is a lot of skill and there's the combos and all this shit, but I don't know. I usually have a lot of fun with those games for the first, like, ten hours, and then I lose interest and never finish them. I mean, mm -hmm. I've seen, like, when I saw Stamper playing that, it's just, like, at higher levels, that is the most mashy button fucking shit, man. Oh, I want this! I mean, it's really skill-based, which is cool. Yes. Already, no, absolutely. I already pre-ordered Sekiro, by the way. <laughs> yeah? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited for that. What did you pre-order it for? Just for Steam. Oh yeah, I should do the same. You know what? I'm excited for that. I don't wanna- I don't wanna give away any spoilers, but uh... I'm extra excited for that game. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! That, that was- that was exciting. Yeah, that was a weird cut. Thanks, what happened? Chris. <laughs> I'll never forget tonight. <laughs> Not after that. <laughs> Mmm. Oh, I love gore. Look at that. So bloody. Oh, urine syringe. Get it. Yeah, I hope this doesn't fuck my- This is gonna reshuffle all my stuff, but it does <laughs> give me a boost. Oh, I, I got it. four damage, which is decent. Let's pray. Oh. Let us pray. Uh, what happened? I didn't even- I got I got less damage. <laughs> <laughs> I prayed to the wrong god! Tomer, what's your favorite religious song? What's my fa- I didn't grow up with, like, anything other than Jewish songs. Are Christmas songs considered religious? I, I think so, yeah. What- what was that? I don't know, a lot of songs I thought were religious songs were just, like, really, like, hippie, like, 70s songs, like, And the old shall dream dreams, <laughs> and the youth shall see visions. <laughs> I- for some reason I always thought that was, like, a religious song. Why does this sound like Lemmy Winks? 
Remember that? Because that's how everyone's. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's just how those songs all sounded. I don't. That's what Lemmy Winks is based on. Was like, I think that was some, like late '60s or like early '70s where. I don't know if it was a particular artist who just had a voice like that, or if, if everybody <laughs> was just trying to sound like they were singing like a like a medieval ballad. Uh, is South Park still good? I don't know. I don't watch it anymore. I am don't either. <laughs> I guess that's a sign. Uh, I feel like what there was a time when that was like the only good show. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm really nostalgic for it because I was raised on it pretty much. So. I watched it all the way up through season one through like ten. When you and then go, I stopped. have you gone back and watched the first season when it was yeah. all just about like satellites coming out of kids' asses yeah, and fucking gay one teachers is, and shit? It's fine, but I don't really like it that much though. I don't know. I I, I have a real soft spot for that. <laughs> no, it's cool because like you know, humble beginnings and yeah. like all that shit, but. I don't know. To go back and rewatch it, yeah, I'm just not. Say, I don't care that much. I can't really enjoy those seasons that much anymore myself. It, it, I think it got good in, around season two. Honestly, it started getting its its wings. Mm. Its wings it started, like an angel. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Now look at those. <laughs> <laughs> you know, somebody I think was talking about doing like realistic art renderings of some of this shit. Yeah. I feel like that'd be some of the freakiest, freakiest shit I'd have seen. Uh, no? No, I'm, I'm trying to think of what is the scariest art I've ever seen. I think I've talked about that guy Beskinski before, right? That sounds familiar. He draws this weird like War of the Worlds red vinish shit with like scary war imagery like, and shit. When you say red vinish, are you referring to the candy red vines? Uh or no. I don't think so. It's just like bloody veiny like vines covering landscapes gotcha. and like shit like that. I like his stuff. They're cool. You just made me hungry for red vines. <laughs> <laughs> You'd love it. The whole world was covered in red vines. <laughs> Alright. Yo man, go to the arcade. Let's play some video games. The music's fun. Yeah, look! There's a life lesson there. Video games will make you rich. Ain't yeah. that right, boys? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> no! Look at that. Wow. Damn. I'm on a roll, guys. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, I'm out. Ah, fuck shit. this game. Gambling is dumb. Wait, Tomar, you never answer. What's your favorite religion song? What's your favorite religion? Yeah. Religion song. What's, what's your, your favorite religion? What's your favorite religion, Tomar? I don't know. Me, my lel, kvurot, Israel. See, it, all that <laughs> stuff I know is Hebrew. <laughs> That's a good one, though. Wait, Mick, well, were you raised Christian? Uh, n uh, no, but my grandma was Christian, uh, Methodist. Yeah. And my, uh, grandfather was Buddhist. Wow. But I never knew she was Christian. She used to pray before she'd eat, but I just thought she was like closing her eyes and like ignoring me. And I used to spend that time just <laughs> yelling at her. Like, why, 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 why? And she like wouldn't, it was like a fucking monk. I thought she you just meant, sat there. I thought you meant like her eyes turned white. And yes. you were just like, ah! <laughs> and she Wake up! <laughs> she floated three inches above the table before she ate. Come so, on! Ah! Get back out here! I'm trying to eat! Um. But yeah, no, she was just chilling and and being her, just being good old grandma. Did you ever play like, Take the Knee Gel from Grandma? No! Take the Knee Gel? Yeah, what? when they're like asleep in their chair and you like prick their knees with pins and gel comes out and you put it into Ew. a pot. Ew! Ew! <laughs> Ew! Where'd you even, like, come up with that? The fact that you have a name for it frightens me. It's the knee gel. <laughs> Duh, it's knee gel. I just like draining the fluids from my grandma's knees and bottling it. Yeah. And selling it. If you plant it, it grows into a new grandma. <laughs> Grandmas are great. I'd fucking do that. My grandma was a very small woman. Was she China's? You could bury her in one or sandbox. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great, great moment to just- uh, I hate that mental image. Time. It's like your fucking grandma curled up like a mummy. Like some like prehistoric <laughs> ancient body Lucy they uh. found and fucking- <laughs> Alright. My grandma actually, no, she, uh, she was like... 
uh, grandpa, or you know, it was granddad for me, and her, she was called nanny, but she'd be like, granddad's making you uh, a sand pit. Like, yay, go out and play in the sand pit for like one day. The next day I go out and play in it, there's just centipedes everywhere. <laughs> I never went in there again. <laughs> Scary. That's frightening. I don't like centipedes. That is genuinely frightening. Yeah, and they're like, make sure to put the lid on it or the cats will shit in it. <laughs> so centipedes and cat shit. That was your childhood? Kinda. There was always those little, uh, roly-poly bugs in there, too. They always are like, Chris! Go back out and play in the sandpit, Chris! <laughs> play in the roly-poly sandpit! I was gonna say, I, when I was a- I lived in like a university family housing complex when I was I was like hoping you'd say a Jew pit. Three to, se <laughs> three to seven oh years old. Oh my gosh! Too soon! <laughs> oh shit, that's a thing. I know! <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, go on. And, Ooh. and there were, um... There were like sandboxes at every like corner of the of the neighborhood. Yeah. Like no joke, there were probably like thirty or thirty plus sandboxes in my neighborhood. Wow. And I don't know, it was a really cool place to grow up because everybody there had kids. And like, you know, you're three, so you just will are willing to play with any kid that looks remotely your age. <laughs> That was the closest I ever felt to living on a neighborhood that was like a television neighborhood. What the fuck? That's cool. Why isn't the sacrifice The sacrifice room is supposed to give me fucking angels and demons! What the fuck is happening? Maybe something about your particular what? character type makes you unable to sacrifice. Oh my god, have we not even unlocked heaven and hell- or the fucking Mega Satan? I have no oh idea what you're talking god, about. Oh my god, I wasted all that health! Lol, fuck you, dude. Fuck me! Angels and demons. Fuck me? Maybe. Guess what, Chris? Wow. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, fuck Please. me. Please. Tom Hanks. Have you seen Sully? So is that when he plays that, uh, pilot? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he plays that pilot. Whenever I hear Sully, I just think of Monsters, Inc. Yeah. He looks into the camera and says, this is not Monsters, Inc. And then he says, now it's time to get serious. <laughs> and he lands it and really lands good. Plane, upside down. <laughs> Onto Monsters, Inc. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was thinking recently about... Sad, sa oh. About Sad Mario. Mm. And just how I wish we, we'd get some Sad Mario sometimes. I don't feel like there's enough Sad Mario. Every time we hear him, he's always so fucking chipper. He's really bland. Yeah, fuck that guy. Like, wahoo! Why can't he's my children's we... mascot be more gritty? Mamma mia! <laughs> <laughs> I want, I want sad one like, wahoo! <laughs> or just, <laughs> oh, mm. let's try that again. We just need more tonally varied Mario. Yeah. Stories. Mamma mia! Or, and then someone just like, dude, you're just talking about Luigi now. I like it when they at least try something new. I feel like yeah. Mario's been kind of formulaic for a yeah. long time. Mario has that sort of like Disney thing going on where it's like you can't you can't deviate too far from like brand. Wait, we need to talk about Sully for one more minute. Yes. Tomar. I've never seen Sully. If you were watching the movie Sully and when he's right about to land the plane in the river, but then a hole opened in the bottom of the plane and he started running like Fred Flintstone along <laughs> the water. <laughs> Would you rate the movie high or low for, just for that? I guess what well, what happens in the original film? He just crashes into the river. He just crashes into the river, but then <laughs> instead his he puts his feet out and is just like, I think I can do this. <laughs> yeah, he, he, <laughs> and he just and he starts running really really fast. He runs so fast that they skim across the top of the water. Yeah, for like the next like thirty miles until they make it to shore. But his, his legs then, are really thick and, and have three then, toes he, like Fred Flintstone. And then he sticks his heels out and breaks, and he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it has the screeching, and the water has to like ball, like bundle up like a carpet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tomer, answer: Would you rate it good or bad? I'd rate it good. If the whole movie was serious up until that point, yeah, yeah, that'd, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> that would probably make me scream in laughter, <laughs> but not knowing it going in. If someone told me and ruined it for me, then I wouldn't do that. Yeah, you'd already know it was coming. You'd be waiting for that moment the whole time. <laughs> I like this worm creature. Looks like your penis. Can an earthworm breach your skin with a bite? No. No. They don't have teeth. Oh. But At there least... are other worms that can get into your skin. Dang straight. Can like Chris's really... penis. Can they actually burrow in from the outside, or do you have... 
the like 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 a leech. What is it? Is a leech not like a worm? Are they totally different families? I think so. Yeah. Worms always freak me out because when you pick them up, they always like do a little. They turn they turn in to like bite you, but then they can't bite you. I guess. I've never thought of a leech as being a worm. Ever? Oh no. No, they're it's not. more like a slug than a worm. I mean, it's yeah. I mean, it's, it's kind of just its own thing, but oh yeah, a little Mr. Uh, worm expert over here. I'm not. Mm. I'm I'm honestly just going with my intuition here. I'm not trying to prove anything. Anybody could Google this and and probably be like, way to show your dominance. <laughs> <laughs> way to assert a. myself. Yeah, yeah, way to assert your fucking dominance. Huh? Oh shit! Oh, that was lucky. Oh yes, boys. <laughs> Good, Tomar. It was one of those pills actually called Lemon Party? Okay, it sure it is. is. <laughs> Tomar. Yeah? What if you came over to my house to watch a movie, and then we went out into the backyard to talk about life, and then you noticed, out of the corner of your eye, a little worm crawling towards my foot, and when it got to my foot, it like blended into my shoe. <gasps> Would you be freaked out? Yeah, I think I'd try to point it out to you before it... Before it crawled into your shoe. No, 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 no! It crawls up to my shoe and rests its body against the shoe, and then just like absorbs into my my body, kind of like it, I'm. It's part of me. Yeah, I don't know who wouldn't be freaked out by that. Well, would you trust me, or would you think that it was just a weird thing? What would you do? No, my first assumption would not be that the worm has now possessed <laughs> your brain. <laughs> Okay, 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 that's the first thing that happens, you're like, okay, that's kind of weird, maybe I just imagined that, right? But then we go back inside to watch, like, I don't know, uh, Herbie fully loaded, and then we're <laughs> sitting down, and then, uh, I sneeze, and, uh, like, two worms, like, hang off my face, but I just quickly push him back into my face. <laughs> Acting like he didn't notice? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, yeah, Herbie's pretty cool. <laughs> then what? I'd, um... I'd... I mean, I'd probably point it out to you. I'd be like, what are you talking- Dude, shut up, let's watch Herbie. That's what I say. What if Chris got oh. down on all fours, <laughs> crawled out the front door into the backyard, and started eating dirt, <laughs> and then shitting it out his ass? No, that's not subtle, then he'd really know. <laughs> no, no, Tomer, what if I go to the bathroom, and I take a shit, and I come back, and then you go to the bathroom, and there's a worm in the toilet. It, the whole toilet is filled with worms. <laughs> that's- that's too obvious. Just filled with worms. If there was one- if there was one worm, like, pushing himself down the hole right as he came in and he just went out of sight. Again, I think I just point <laughs> out to you, Chris, there's something weird going on with worms and you. I'm like, you're fucking nuts, you fucking idiot. <laughs> get I'd out. Be, I'd be a fa I, then I'd get out. <laughs> And then, leave. you go back to your house- you were so mean to me. You go back to your house and you're like, Hey, Jaxie, Chris's house is full of worms. And then Jaxie turns around and she's got a big worm for a head. <laughs> oh, no. And then the credits roll. <laughs> you go, I am a married a worm. <laughs> oh, like, no, I'm a married a worm. I am like married a worm. I like married a worm, guys. <laughs>